New at 5.30, the Arkansas Derby is back, bigger and better at Oaklawn, and horse racing fans are bursting out of the gates, heading down to Hot Springs to be a part of all the action. That's where we find our very own Troy Lynch, who I'm told is ready to win big time. Troy, I would imagine you've picked your horses and placed your bets. <laughs> A whole bunch of fans here at the Arkansas Derby. We're and we wrapped up day one. There were about you know I, I would say a couple hundred fans here today. But tomorrow, of course, is the main course of every uh, of this three course meal, and it's going to be fantastic because Oakland is estimating around 60 to 70 thousand fans for tomorrow, and they're all really excited because they haven't had full attendance attendance since 2019. So of course we caught up with some fans and some. Some other members here at the Arkansas Derby to see just how excited they really are. Ah, the Arkansas Derby, a special event in the natural state. Why? Well, if you ask the fans, the fun, the energy, everybody's cool and wants to help you out and be friendly. An environment that fans haven't fully been able to experience since 2019. It's been two long years for people, and so I think everyone's enjoying being outside, having a good time. The fans who normally have the best time are those who make the most money. So who's the favorite come derby time? That's on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just ask the expert. The Philly. Not only does Oakland track announcer Vic Stoffer think the only female horse in the Derby is the favorite, but also the best story. There is a big difference between boys and girls in athletics, and it's the same on the racetrack. And so for a Philly to try to beat eight Colts, it's almost unheard of. The Philly's name is Secret Oath. Not only does Stoffer think that Secret Oath can win the Arkansas Derby, but also the big one. They've run, I don't know, 130 Kentucky Derbies. Three Phillies have won. Three. That's it. She has a chance to be one of them, and that's what makes the story so incredibly compelling. But no matter what, the Arkansas Derby will host some of the best racehorses on the planet. Traditionally, when horses run well in Arkansas, which is one of the major final preps to the Kentucky Derby, it transfers over to Louisville, and they're effective there, too. So I just want to mention that Secret Oath's story gets even more compelling because its trainer, Dwayne Lewis, actually trained a filly that won the Arkansas Derby all the way back in 1984. And it, that horse ended up being the favorite in the Kentucky Derby, but ended up placing 19th. However, Dwayne Lewis says that this horse, Secret Oath, is even better than that horse and won the Arkansas Derby back in 1984. So that's who I'm picking, guys, to win the Arkansas Derby come tomorrow around 6.35 p.m.